everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing my January favourites. I have got this broken down into a couple of topics and I think I really want to make this a monthly video. I did do my December slash 2020 favourites a couple videos ago and I really enjoy doing that and I think it will be probably be a lot better if I just this monthly as opposed to like an end of year favourites. So this is my first one of 2021. This is my January favourites. I have broken them down into a couple of categories. I'm hoping that I can continue with these categories each month and find new favourites. So I've broken it down into random favourites, self-care favourites, food and drink and products. And some of them can be interchangeable with like products that are to do with self-care but you know it's not too formal it's just a little bit of fun at the end of each month to see what i've been loving so if you're interested in what my favorites have been for january then please keep on watching so my first favorite which is going to be in the random products is actually amazon and really annoyingly i had amazon prime i had the trial and everything i had the full 30 days didn't order a single thing really and then my troll ended and since then I've honestly placed about four orders with like quite a few things in each order so very annoying having to pay delivery each time when if i just taken full advantage of the fact that I had Prime I could have ordered it with free delivery and postage and packaging but I digress I've ordered a lot of things from Amazon too much and um yeah i've got some most things i've ordered in this video because they are faves i've really enjoyed having them so like i said amazon itself is a favorite but the first actual thing that i want to mention is a nail file well it's a nail wheel i suppose um nail fan nail wheel nail ring whatever you want to call it nail display um but if you see my Amazon haul, you'll see that this wasn't actually in the video. I was still waiting for it to be delivered. And this came, I think, not maybe not yesterday, the day before. And I've just been obsessed with it since. It's the best way, if you're really into your nail varnish and shellac and doing your own nails, to see what colours you have, um, to see your collection. And it feels like you're at the salon. And if you've not seen these before, if you don't get your nails done, if you're a guy watching this video, then when you when we go to the nail salon, I say we, like not just girls, guys go to the nail salon as well. But when people go to the nail salon, if you're not used to going, um, and you either have gels or if you have acrylics, if you have shellacs, you will get thrown probably a basket full of these. And these are just the best way to display all of your polishes. And I just thought since I'm really getting into doing my own nails at home, it would be really good and fun to have one of these of my own. And I've really enjoyed doing it yesterday. I got all my colours out, all my polishes out, painted them all, named them, um, labelled whether they were a gel polish or not. So I'm gonna get the colour up that I've got on my nails at the minute and just show you as an example. Right, so the colour that I've got on my nails now, I'll use this one as an example. So you can see that I've got the brand name, which is Blue Sky, the either the shade name or shade number, and this one is Forest Green, and at the end I've got that it's a gel, because not all of these are gels. So this is what it looks like. And you can just see, because some nail polishes do look a little bit different in the bottle than what they do on the nail. So I wanted to see in person what they look like to make an easy quick decision yeah i want that or if i want to go for i really like at the minute i'm looking on pinterest a lot um like nail inspo and you'll have like lots of different like different colors on each nail but the same tones and i'll just show you quickly what i mean by putting a, the similar sort of tones together so let's say i was going to do something like that i'm going to put do like a nude nails but the same sort of tones so i would do a different color on each nail similar tones but different colors so i do something like that and i can actually see yeah i'm going to put these colors together or say you want to swap one out so if you want to do it more pastel then i can put together because you see i've got a couple of pastels in there or I've got some brighter pinks or say if you was going to do something like this 
not that I would put these together, but you can see what I'm trying to say, and you could put something like that together. Um, so you can see that I have got some gels. I've also got some that aren't gels. So I use this one as an example. You've got a Barry M shade in uh, brand. The shade name is Lavender and a Dash. That means it is not a gel polish, even though this is the Barry M gel-ish nail polishes it's a gel finish not a gel polish so these are a mixture of actual gels and gel finishes and just normal nail polishes so that is definitely my first favorite i've just loved doing this i think it's really aesthetically pleasing to see your nail polishes like this and also you can see if anything if anything's missing from your collection if you've got a lot of the same sort of colors i've seen that i've got really a lot of reds burgundies um with raspberry colors like even if i just hold these colors up here like from here are they basically not just all the same sort of colors you can tell that i like this color a lot so it's not until you actually put them on a nail and see actually they are all different they're not all the same but i don't need any more raspberry pinks I have a, I have enough. So this is my first favourite of not just January. I know this is going to be like a all year round favourite, but I got it in Jan, so it's definitely my first thing that I wanted to mention is this. The second thing that I wanted to mention, which again is in my Amazon haul because these are my Amazon finds, is this coffee mug, this travel mug, and I've mentioned this. I don't know if I mentioned this in my de December favourites. Um, but I definitely have mentioned this in my Amazon haul and since then I have used this every time I've gone out for a walk I have used this um, and I just love being able to have a coffee on the go I had it the other day I went out for a walk by myself my headphones on I was listening to a podcast I had a cup of tea in here and it was just like I don't know it's just comforting it's a nice thing to have it's really cold outside it's been snowing on and off today and if I'm going out for a walk or even like if I'm going anywhere in the car and I want a hot drink um actually even like last week last Friday um Lewis was like oh I'm coming home from work I need to go to Lidl after work to get some few things I pick up a few things do you want to come with me I literally just made a fresh tea i sat down i was getting ready for a girls night doing quizzes and i just started to do my makeup had a fresh cup of tea and he was like i'm going to pick you up in like two minutes i was like are you joking i've just made this tea um and i'm not letting it go to waste so i just poured it in here and enjoyed having a tea on the go and i think whilst we're in lockdown um and coffee shops are closed um i think it's nice to still have that coffee on the go tea on the go it almost encourages me having this to go outside for a walk because it's like yes it's cold and it's miserable and it's wet and rainy and snowing but if you have a hot drink it's going to make it a little bit better so this is my incentive a lot of the times at the minute and you'll see from one of the other things i've bought it will be more of an incentive to go out for a walk is this really encourages me just to get out and it's nice to have a hot drink um and yeah it does its job it keeps my drink really hot um, I think it's a nice aesthetic, it's a nice size, as well if this was too big, but it's actually perfect. And yeah, that's my second favourite in my Amazon finds. So the third thing that I wanted to show you, which I said was linked to the coffee cup, is I've been a bit naughty and ordered a massive one litre caramel syrup. And this is like the same brand as what you would find in your Costa and this is the caramel flavour there was lots of like salted caramel all those different kind of flavours but i thought let's just go classic caramel because when i go to the coffee shop um normally i would get say if we're going to like nero because me and lewis would go to cafe nero a lot we'd get a drink called the speciality and that would be a latte a caramel latte with whipped cream on top or with caramel sauce on top and it really is like having a dessert that's why it's like a treat so I thought, if we're having coffees at home, not that we have a proper coffee machine, like that is like a goal of mine when I have my own house, is to have a proper, proper coffee machine with the milk frother and everything. Um, but in the meantime, you know, we've got some nice like, cappuccino flavoured instant coffees, we've got mocha flavour, loads of different kinds of um, like different coffee granules. So when we go out for a walk at the weekend, it is nice to have take our coffee cups 
have a coffee and now we're just gonna spice them up even more with this i know it's my favorites but i actually haven't even tried it yet but i know that i'm gonna like it because it's basically the same things what they use in costa and every time i go out it's always a um caramel latte that's like my go-to drink um and if you watch my come drive with me's um i tend to have a caramel latte most of the time um so yeah i got a liter bottle of one of these um also just a quick note always check the description boxes of my videos because when i do these kind of videos uh, i more often than not link things in the description so i'll do my best to try and link these things or products that are similar in the description box if you're thinking what a great idea amazing i want one for myself um i will link these all in the description box but that is my second thing i'm going to try and limit try is the key word and limit myself to just having the caramel coffees on a weekend that's why i said i've been a bit naughty because the thing is, this is a litre bottle and it's going to, if I was to allow myself just to have this willy nilly, it would be scary how quickly I would get through one of these. So yeah, this is in my favourites. I, lockdown's all about making yourself tip, like feel better. This could honestly, I could justify this enough to have it in my self care section really. But come on, caramel's not self care, that's just being self indulgent. But how could I not, you know? so that's my third favorite my amazon find moving on to something else this actually arrived today as i'm filming this but i already know that i love the idea and the concept behind this i got a book and this book is called everything you'll ever need in red writing it's also got what you won't be able to see in very very faint light pink writing so it's everything you'll ever need you can find within yourself and this is a book by the author charlotte freeman i actually seen this posted on Gemma louise mills instagram i've only recently come across her and love her content love her instagram she's like very aesthetically pleasing feed and videos very cozy videos um but i'm sure you probably know who i'm talking about she posted about this book and i thought let me see what that book's about and as soon as I read like two pages, I like, love it, need to get it, and now I've got it. But this is not what I actually thought it was. It's not a book. It's more of a, like it's not a book book. It's more of a bunch of positive affirmations, positive quotes, motivational quotes um, of each day. And I think I seen Gemma actually, now that I'm thinking about it, in her videos, saying that she reads like, a page a day like a double page a day um and i think that's really because i'm the type of person unless i'm extremely hooked on a book it takes me quite a long time to get through them because it if i'm not hooked i'll just forget about it and it'll be like a year goes by and i'm like oh i should probably pick that book back up and i've completely forgotten what even happened in it so this is something that i know i can stick to i'm going to keep it on my bed stand along with my journal I fill in my journal every night um and read one of these pages and let me just read the first one to you just so you can get a gist almost like poems or motivational quotes positive affirmations those kind of things i'm massively into those um at the minute and have been for about a year but the first one just says you can it reads you can even if you don't believe it even though it doesn't feel like it right now even in the toughest of times you can i just think yes you can you know even in these toughest of times even in the pandemic even when you feel like you can't you can you can do it you have done it you can overcome it you can do anything and even though it's just simple it's actually one two three four five five lines it just you just need that positivity and this is an extension and this it can fit in the self-care um section of this video as well but because i've got it on amazon it will go more than amazon finds but i just think this is really a manageable read you can like i said you can just read a page a day if you want to and it's just that little bit of positivity uplift and mindfulness each day it doesn't take a long time it literally takes seconds just for you to open up read something and just think yes i can i can keep on going i can keep doing it so i really like the idea of this book and that's why it's in my favorites
so that is everything in my amazon finds and my random category of favorites so far now i'm going to move on to the self-care section of this video so my first self-care favorite is of course i've already mentioned it is my wellness journal and i have mentioned this before i'm pretty sure it was in my december favorites but this is my wellness journal by the brand papier probably said it wrong and um yeah i just love it like i have i've kept to my word i've i think bar one day i filled it i fill this in every night before bed and have done since like boxing day i think i've done boxing day so since like the 27th then apart from one day i film i've filled this in every day and it just really reminds you or reminds me so i what i would do so this today is the 14th um and it has intentions for the day so what i would do is on the 15th i would write in it what i want to do for tomorrow almost like a to-do list whatever your attention is for that day i write my intentions at night for what i want to achieve for the following day so you've got the intentions for the day your sleep how many hours you've slept your four meals so you've got three meals a day and your snacks that you've had how many pints of water you've drank what activities you've done what self-care practices you've done what your mood is, what went well today, your thoughts and feelings and what you're grateful for. And I just think it's a really positive way to end each day because you can easily go to bed every night and think, what a shit day. What, you know, more restrictions, more lockdown, can't see my friends, can't see my family, everything's closed, my life's horrible, my life's shit. But when you're actually forced in a way to reflect on your day and think, yeah, maybe you have had a really horrible a shitty day but when you look and think what went actually went well today oh do you know what I, I managed even if it's I managed to get out of bed today that's still an achievement for a lot of people at the minute if even a lot of mine what went well today I went out for a walk as small as that is it's not necessarily such a small thing to a lot of people at the minute so you're thinking what went well today your thoughts and feelings i have my mine are just random i write anything down and um, today i'm thankful for and you know what a lot of my thankfulness thoughts so you can see that i've filled in this much I'll just give you a little so what i do i'm going to go on to tomorrow i mean yesterday so you can see that I've just highlighted how many hours of sleep I've got, the amount of water that I've drank, my meals, my self-care, my sleep. And you can see that I actually did no activity yesterday. I didn't go out. And I found a link between the activity that I do and my mood. Generally, my mood is at my happiest. I usually get feel my happiest when I've gone out for a walk and done sort of some sort of activity. That's what I've noticed since tracking my mood every day is that I feel happier when I actually go out and get fresh air. And when I don't do that, that's when I notice when my mood tends to flag a bit and even think, oh, I've actually had a lot of water today. I felt really good or I've not drank enough water today. So just having something here, like I've said before, a lot of what I'm thankful for is really silly and small things, but it's not, you don't have to be thankful every day for huge things. Um, a lot of mine is what today I'm thankful for, getting fresh air. This is on the 7th of January. This is what I was, said I was thankful for. Getting fresh air, my naturally curly hair and my current hair colour, which sounds ridiculous, but it's things that I was thankful for that day. It made me feel good. I got fresh air. I really started to love having my own natural curls. I'm trying to own them, trying to use less heat on it and just embrace them and really try and rejuvenate my curls and bring them back. I really like my natural hair colour at the minute. I'm so happy being back brunette and being short and being curly. It feels like I'm being my authentic self when I have dark curly hair. Um, and I was, I love that my greys hadn't come through too quickly. Um, I was just, on that day, what I was thankful for was getting fresh air, my naturally curly hair, my hair colour. Not actually a lot, but you don't have to be thankful for massive things. So I don't want to go on too much about this because I know I've mentioned it before. But I love this. This will probably be my self-care favourites every month because I am doing a form of self-care every night by journaling and um thinking back and looking at the positives in my life i think that is really important at the minute so yeah that's my first self-care favorite
My second self-care favourite is I've got back into podcasts. I was obsessed with podcasts back in uni. I would be on a break in between lectures and say I had an hour's break and there was no point in going back home. I may as well stay in the building that I was having my lectures in and go to like the common room and sit in there. I'd put my headphones in, do a bit of work in between each lecture and I'd listen to a podcast because I found music could be quite distracting. Um, so and I'd listen to music at the gym so I would want a change of scenery and listen to podcasts and back in uni I listened to um, a podcast called The Receipts which is a bunch of women that's a girls a bunch of women that sit down and talk about well anything and everything nothing is off limits and yeah I loved that podcast back in uni and I should probably listen to them again because I did really enjoy it but I wanted a different kind of same sort of vibe, something different. So I came across the podcast called Positive Mindset and they're like 10 minutes each. So when I was on my walks and with my coffee, I would listen to a podcast, get fresh air. Like that is one massive self-care activity within itself. I was getting fresh air. I had my coffee with me. I was listening to a podcast. So that was like just going for a walk for an hour. That's my self-care in one day. Um, and I've really enjoyed finding lots of new podcasts. I'm really open to finding more. So if you have any suggestions of your own, please leave them down below because I do really like them. Um, so Positive Mindset is a good one, but it's only 10 minutes. Um, the other sort of like, I have like two genres that I like. Either like mindfulness, positivity, positive affirmations sort of podcasts. And then I like girl talk, chatty, taboo topic um, podcasts as well. So the other one that I like is um, Sophia and Chintzy's podcast, which is called The Girls' Bathroom. And if you like those types of YouTubers and girl talk and uh, talking about boyfriends, love, jobs, women, empowering women, um, it's really quite a funny yet like you're just listening to your friends having a chat type of podcast and I've really loved those so those are the podcasts that I've been loving this month and podcasts in general for my self-care and quizzes I've put quizzes in here as well so last Friday I did my first lockdown quiz how I've got to 2021 and the third lockdown and only just on my first quiz I don't know how did I go that long um I did my first lockdown quiz for the girls and loved it. I just found it so much fun. It is a form of self-care for me. It was talking to the girls. I had a purpose to make the quiz along the week. And I had that dedica dedicated time of I'm talking to my friends. I get I got ready like I was going on a girls' night out. And we had some drinks, we played, the, we done the quiz and I really, really enjoyed it. So, and we're doing another one tomorrow. Today's Thursday as I'm filming this. So tomorrow we've got another quiz coming up. Um, I've honestly been excited for it since like we stopped doing the quiz last Friday because there isn't much to look forward to and having that dedicated time, having to catch up with my friends, having girl time, girls night, doing the quiz, having some drinks is a form of self-care for me and it is definitely a favourite so I have to mention that. Um, and that's it in terms of self-care favourites. Now I'm moving on to products. So products that I've been loving, I'm going to start with this, it's called Dirty Works lavender pillow spray and I got this for Christmas and I have was gonna in, not invest but I was looking at potentially I was interested in getting a pillow spray anyway and I really really like this and I don't know whether it's more of like a placebo effect so you put it on your pillow and you think that's it for my lavender spray I'm going to sleep well tonight and um, this one itself isn't really strong which I do quite like that it's not really overwhelmingly lavender um and I do tend to sleep quite well when I have this on um I think it's more of like the routine and the ritual of getting into bed I do my journal and now I'm going to read my positive affirmations every day from that book and then I'm gonna put my pillow spray on so it's like a routine I put my face creams on like it's a part of my self-care routine almost to put my pillow spray on but yeah I do really like this um like I said I don't know if it's more of a placebo effect I'm thinking oh I'll put my pillow spray on to have a good night's sleep therefore I'm gonna have a good night's sleep and then it works like that I'm honestly not too sure nonetheless it's a product that I've liked using um 
and I had found that I slept a little bit better when I had this on my pillow so that's the first product to mention. The next product that I wanted to use is something that I've only been using in the past couple of days but I now do it again as part of my evening routine. I, I definitely have an evening routine and every time I put this product on I feel like I have 40 year no 50 to 60 year old woman you know when they get into bed they put their hand cream on they let them read their book and they put their creams on that is me now at 22 I literally get into bed I put my creams on I put my hand cream on I write in my journal I read my book I go to bed how luxurious that's the life of someone that's not that's on furlough can you imagine that is my routine so this is my next product favorite which is the Nivea hand cream soothing care in aloe vera um i used to be obsessed with hand cream like back in school i would be the person in my handbag i would always have a hand cream like always and i'm just gonna put it on now to be fair but yeah this has become part of my nighttime routine is i'd put my hand cream on every night as i'm about to get into bed obviously we're all washing our hands or we all should be washing our hands a lot more now like more than ever so my hands are a bit drier and just putting a bit of hand cream on before you go to bed it's just a nice thing to do and this is the aloe vera scent is it's subtle it's not too overwhelming it's not really fragranced i love all nivea products and this actually came in my nivea advent calendar that i had for christmas um and it's yeah i have shit loads of hand creams like because they always come in like products you know for christmas i got a lot of skincare beauty products so hand cream is always part of a set and i honestly have like maybe four or five hand creams over the years and because i don't use it every day i do have a build up of loads so now i'm making a conscious effort not only because my hands are a bit dry from washing them so much but to try and get through my hand creams and to take care of better care of my hands obviously i'm do my nails so i'm trying to look after my nails got my cuticle oils and i thought i don't have anything for my hands what well, i do i'm just not using anything for my hands i moisturize ev moisturize everywhere else but i don't take the effort in moisturizing my hands that often so that has changed i've started using this and i'm really loving it so that's another favorite the last product favorite is a number seven product this is the number seven radiant results nourishing cleansing balm and this is what i have been using to take my makeup off at night and not that i'm wearing loads of makeup i pretty much at the minute i'm just doing it for videos of my friday night quiz with the girls um actually this is a lie i don't use this really to my makeup off with i still use micellar water but after i've cleansed i do a double cleanse and because there's still so much makeup left on your skin just from that first initial taking makeup off of micellar water um so i'm using this balm so this is what it looks like and yeah i just use this and then i use my muslin cloth so I put this on it melts all the excess oils dirt makeup off my face then i take my muslin cloth and take all of the makeup off with that so it's like a hot cloth cleanser cleansing balm sort of thing again another part of my evening routine maybe i'll have to do an evening routine video because i really do have a routine now as opposed to just getting into bed i do things i have steps that i do i think it's all part of self-care really um but that is a project that i'm really loving i love number seven as a whole as a brand for skincare i think it's really gentle really effective and affordable as well and i get a lot of stuff for christmas for number seven so it's always a positive to me for receiving lots of products so this is a another favorite this is my last product favorite in this video and then i'm going to move on to food and drink favorites um, my first one is banana bread banana loaf i made one in a vlog which should be up by now and i just loved it i love bananas and do you know what's funny actually i love bananas but i don't really like banana flavored things i don't really like banana in in food I just like it by itself. I don't like banana milkshakes. I don't like banana, um, banoffee pie. I just like it by itself. But bananas in bread, love it. So I've been, so I made a banana and chocolate loaf last week. Loved that. Basically ate that in one day. And then I've been loving the serene or saran, I don't know how you say it, but the malt loaf, banana loaf as well. Like the snap, like the, um, 
lunch box sizes like the snack box sizes love those three o'clock with a coffee um really like those as a snack so banana loaf banana bread banana malt loaf that as a snack has just definitely been a favorite of mine in january the next thing is soups i've probably actually been into soups since the back end of december and it's definitely followed me through into january because i'm having probably three a week um because i'm trying to not eat so much bread all of the time um because i could easily have bread breakfast lunch and dinner and it just bloats me up and it's just i'm just trying to cut down on having it all of the time and if i want like toast for breakfast i'm then stuck as to what i would have for my lunches um, so I've really got into having soups and I would buy the Lidl's, um, like the chunky soups, like chicken, Tuscan chicken soup or chicken and sweet corn soup or tomato and basil soup. But today I actually made my own and I put a picture of it in the pan. But I just made, I followed the BBC Good Foods roasted red, pe red pepper and tomato soup and it was so good. But I don't destroy my own trumpet pills. Um... So soups as a whole for lunch, I've really been loving, really got into it. And especially, and I said about the bread thing, but with a crusty roll. And I got one from Lidl today um, for the fresh bakery section. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to throw Lidl in as a favourite. Lidl is definitely a favourite of mine as well. Um, but the crusty rolls that you get, the individual ones. And I had my soup with one of those. And I warmed the bread roll in the oven before. And um, so I made my own homemade soup. And I just love it like it's such an underrated um lunch optional meal but it's so good and it's right good for you as well but especially as i made my own so i know exactly what's going into it there's not loads of sugar or salt or hidden things in there i know what's going in there i really enjoyed it it's kept me full um and it's just something that i keep going back to so soup is a definite favorite the next thing because this video is getting quite long is olive bread i've been loving olive bread bloomer bread bread with soup um the olive bread with soup is so good so olive bread is another favorite of mine and the last favorite in this whole video and for the food and drink section is alcohol so i've been loving aperol spritz as you can tell the again the embarrassing thing is is that this was all used in last week's quiz so i only had three i think three or four aperol spritz whilst i was doing the quiz and this is how much has gone okay it's not a spirit it's not like it's vodka or anything it's only got 11 percent in um because i have it with prosecco and soda water but this is a drink that i have been what i know i really associate it with having it in summer it's more my summer drink but I thought, you know what? I got bought some Aperol. I bought that, got bought it for Christmas. Thought it's girls' night and you know do, doing things that I enjoy that I love, and I do love an Aperol spritz. So I have really enjoyed having that as my little drink at the end of a week, at a weekend, and yeah, just really, really loved having a little Aperol and just like a little taste of holiday at the end of the week. So that was everything in my food and drink favourites. That was everything from my January favourites as a whole. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, this setup as well of the random favourites, self-care favourites, products and food and drink. I am hopefully going to make these a monthly thing and do it every month. Um, because believe it or not, every month I do, you know, you do have different favourites. Um, and I have been spending a bit too much. I think January... Uh, February I need to cut down a little bit um but yeah that has been everything for today's video I hope you've enjoyed it please give me a big comment big comment please give me a big like leave me a comment is there anything in this video that you would if that you like that you want to try out make sure to check the description box for any of the links for anything if you want to buy anything from this video and other than that I will see you guys in my next one bye guys